How's it going YouTube? So Android here and today we're going to take a look on how to get this theme for your Android device. Alright, so right at the bat, uh, I'm starting off with uh, Base as for Launcher Pro. Uh, that's the launcher I'm using, Launcher Pro Plus. Um, all the links of the images and stuff will be in the description. Uh, so go ahead and put all of those uh, images on your phone. Uh, next, we'll, first of all, what we want to do is uh, change the wallpaper. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Wallpaper and go to uh, Live Wallpaper. You can either do Live Wallpaper or not Live Wallpaper. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's going to be the same, uh, same image. Uh, so we're going to go to our settings here, and uh, we're going to choose a custom image. Uh, I'm using 3D image wallpaper, I believe it's called. Uh, 3D image live wallpaper, right? So that's the, it's going to be, in, this will be in the description as well. Uh, we're going to choose a custom image. We'll go to gallery here. Uh, let's scroll down till we see the wallpaper that I have provided in the link. Um, let's see, we want to put portrait. If you're using this one, just put portrait. Because uh, we're just going to want to use this one little frame or whatnot. And we're going to hit OK. And uh, go back, put set wallpaper. And bada boom, bada bang. All right, we're done with step one. Uh, the reason I like this wallpaper is because when you you can move it like that, you can see at this edge right here, I can actually see what's behind the wallpaper and stuff. That's, what, that's, that's something pretty cool that I do like to have on my phone. Uh, so the next thing what we're going to add is going to be our dock. Uh, so go ahead and just press uh, menu here, go to preferences, appearance settings, and uh, go to dock background, and we're going to hit custom dock. Um, I will put this as well in the description, so um, you should have a problem with that. Go to where it is, put phone, we're going to go back and put restart launch pro and put yes. Alright, so now we have our dock here. Uh, you can go ahead and choose any of these icons to whatever you want really. Uh, look at my other videos if you don't know how to change icons or have hidden icons or whatnot. Um, next, what we're gonna do is add. Uh, let's go ahead and add our icons first. Um, we're gonna go to Desktop Visualizer. Uh, I'm gonna hit this. Uh, oh, I hit the wrong one. Sorry, guys. Uh, what we want is the one by one SS. All right. So uh, we're gonna do that about one, two, three, four, five times, maybe six times, maybe. So. Uh, so once, once I get all six of them, I'll be right back, guys. All right, so one thing, um, so after, if, if your icons aren't coming up like this, uh, you want to go to your preferences, go to home screen settings, and then make sure the columns is set to 7, and the rows set to uh, 10, right? And uh, we're going to go back out of this really quick. And now we're going to set these icons up. Um, you want It's important how do you set these icons up. So once you press uh, select the icon, um, we're gonna go to that icon set that I gave you. Uh, let's go ahead and put calendar for right now. And uh, for the application launch, we're gonna uh, of course put calendar. And uh, we want to keep this this little lettering, lettering right here. We want this, but instead of the background being black, we're gonna change that to transparent. And then um, the touch effects is gonna be green. And if you want vibration, you can. And we're gonna hit OK. And then boom, we go. It's, it should be like that. You see this. Um, you see the background should be green like that and uh, yeah so pretty much in the calendar there shouldn't be a background for that so go ahead and do do that for all of these icons right here and uh, I'm, I'm not going to do that right now because it just takes too much time uh, next what we're going to do is add the clock widget uh, let's go ahead and add beautiful widget clock I believe it's 4x2 alright uh, right here and also this will be in the description as well uh, what we want to do is go to clock theme and uh, put get themes and then go ahead and click on this little uh, search button and just put ACC uh, just type in ACC and it should pop up you can get any one of these right here uh, the theme that I'm gonna be using for uh, this one it's it's they're all pretty much just clones of them each other but the one I have is called uh, ACC sense 5 right here uh, let me go ahead and um, see if that will focus or not it says ACC Sense 5 by Ray. Uh, yeah, it's not focusing, but um, but anyways, yeah. So we want we want that one. So go ahead and just download it. And uh, once you finish downloading, you want to go back and go ahead, click Clock Themes, and then go ahead and hit that theme that you want right here. It's gonna change it up here, right here. And uh, let's see here, anything here? Nah. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and press the uh, checkbox button. And um, if it's too small like that, we're gonna resize it. A little bit bigger like like so and uh, yeah that's pretty much your theme guys oh and also if you want 
to make it a little bit better looking. Uh, we're going to go ahead and preferences. I believe it's in appearance settings and um, disable. Like we want the uh, we want this I, the doc the uh, notification bar to be there, right? So we want the notification bar to be there, and uh, so that pretty much completes this whole theme. Um, let me be right back, and I'm going to be changing all these icons as well. So there you go, guys. Uh, here is the theme, uh, finished theme. As you can see, I have the uh, calendar, the store, the camera, messaging, internet, gallery, and contacts down here. Um, it looks pretty nice, and uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to fool some people that don't know what launcher it is and whatnot. Uh, pretty wanted theme. Um, anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking the video, guys. And if you have any questions uh, about, uh, upon this little tutorial, uh, go ahead and leave in the comment section. I will gladly reply or even make a video reply um, if it's too difficult. And uh, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later.